Welcome to Brown Girl Book Blog, Foodie Beauty. I am here today with another review of Bath & Body Works empties that I've used probably over the last three to four months. First, we're going to start with the warm vanilla sugar in the lotion. And as you can see, I use it all up. I always make sure when I get towards the end of the bottle, I turn it over. Get every drip drop because Bath & Body Works is not expensive, but it's also not cheap. So you have to get your money's worth. Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Lotion. I like this because this lotion actually has fragrance, but it doesn't last long. And when I'm not really trying to wear really strong scents, this is what I like to put on, sort of on a daily basis. I don't know if you can see the ingredients, but they are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. This is just a very nice everyday scent. You can probably use this all year round, but it doesn't have a strong scent. So if you're looking for something strong, um, this is not the way to go. If you're looking for something light scented, this is the way to go. I also have the body cream and I'm not sure if you're like me but I break my body creams up because it's usually like at least two to three days worth of lotion or cream left in the bottle so I always break the two apart to get the best use out of it and again here's a better look at the keynotes and ingredients, if this is something that you might be interested in, it's very light. It's just a simple vanilla fragrance, but it doesn't, the scent doesn't last long. And then I also have the fine fragrance mist. And as you can see, it's all gone. And actually, it took longer than three months. Um, to use this particular fragrance mist. They actually last me sometimes close to a year, depending on how often I use them. Usually I only do like three to four sprays at the beginning of the day and then let it linger on because with Bath & Body Works, a lot of their things start out strong and then they soften up throughout the day. So I don't usually like to do a whole lot of reapplying unless I'm just um, reapplying lotion or body cream to my hands like after washing them or something like that but that's a very nice um, fragrance set warm vanilla sugar definitely recommend um, it's anyone that likes light scented fragrances the next thing that we're going to look at is the pink peach blossom hand soap so I'm a big hand washer all throughout the day so the notes in this are peach nectar magnolia petals and mandarin and this smells so good it's like biting into a peach except you're washing your hands it's just a very fresh peach scent and it just reminds me of the summertime it smells more peach to me than the Georgia peach um, scent that Bath and Body Works has. Next, we'll move on to the body washes. I'm not a huge fan of body washes, but what happens is for me, I purchase body washes to see if I actually like the scent or the fragrance. And if I can take it in a body wash, you know, real quick in the shower, then that, and it doesn't give me a headache, then chances are I would like the scent. So that's how I typically try out fragrances before I just purchase a big, huge um, bottle like this one or this one or something like this or um, this. I always try out the body washes because, you know, if you don't like it, you can use a whole bunch in the shower and get rid of it. And if you do like it, you can, you know, make it last longer. But as you can see, I have the Bora Bora citrus serve and the minis don't come with the keynotes on it but this scent I would not buy again but it was fine to use you know for the little time that it lasted but I would definitely not buy it again it smells 
orange and creamy, but also with a hint of ocean scent, but it mostly smells very um, citrusy, kind of like an orange sickle, but I just didn't really care for it, and I didn't want to smell like that all day, so definitely liked it as a shower gel but definitely not something that I would purchase again not even as a shower gel it's just something that was nice to try and say okay I used it I tried it and won't try it again but somebody else might like it if you like smelling like a creamsicle you may like this the next mini that I have is the Bali Black Coconut Sands now this is a evening fragrance to me it is intoxicating it's full of scent it's nice it has a coconut milk scent to it but it's a deep sort of dark scent but it's nice and I can't say that I would purchase this again as a body wash I can't say that I I did get the mini spray too I haven't used it so it's not on this review um, and I like the mini Fine fragrance spray as like a room freshener but I really this scent is a little too strong for me I just like soft scents and that's just me I'm not one of those people that want to walk past people and they say oh gosh how much perfume does she have on I like soft stuff I you need to get real close to me to smell whatever I might have on so it's nice a lot of people like this it's just not my style or taste but I definitely um, will recommend it, but I just won't be purchasing it again. I also bought the mini cream in it as well. Now the mini cream is actually really nice, um, but again, I feel the same way about the cream as I do the body wash and the fine fragrance mist. Nice scent. But once I use it up, I won't be repurchasing it again. I liked it, but didn't love it. And as you can see, as always, I cut open my creams and make sure I use every last bit um, of cream because you pay for it. The next scent we're going to look at is one of my favorites, Twilight Woods. This scent is my all-time like top five bath and body fragrances it's soft it starts out so strong and woodsy but after about 30 minutes to an hour it's just a really soft scent the fragrance notes in this are not listed oh yes it is okay sorry the fragrance notes in this are a lush berry, sparkling mandarin, and soft mimosa with a lasting impression of apricot nectar and cypress wood. So when you put this on, it's very woodsy. You get that initially, and you, sometimes it might be a turnoff. But if you let it sit and linger on your skin and on your body, it's a very soft scent, and you get more of the nectar and the apricot scent to me mixed with a little hint of woods. It's very soft and pretty. It's strong initially, but it's soft and pretty afterwards. The next scent that we're going to look at and empty is Magic in the Air. This is a nice winter scent to me. I really like it and would definitely repurchase it, but it's very, it's got a crispness to it and a flowery scent to it too but it's also got this crispness to it that definitely makes it probably a better um fall winter scent but it's nice year round i can't say that i loved it i liked it and i definitely liked it enough to repurchase plumeria so this body wash, I did not like, and I could not wait to finish and use it up. I didn't feel like returning it or exchanging it because we're in the middle of a pandemic, and so the stores are closed. So I just used a whole lot of it up, either in the shower, or I use it sometimes as a foot soap, too. And it makes the room smell real nice when I use it as a foot soap. And usually when I don't like a um, shower gel, that's usually how it gets used as a foot soap. 
and it scents the room real nice wherever you're soaking your feet. So the notes in Plumeria are pink Plumeria, peach nectar, red apple, night blooming jasmine, which anything with night blooming jasmine I absolutely love, and gardenia petals. I thought because this had the jasmine in it that I would absolutely love it, but I don't love it. I don't like it. And um, this is a never repurchase, never buy again, but I did use it. It was tolerable enough for me to use, but would definitely not repurchase. So we're going to move that to the side. Next is a White Waves hand soap. Now, I enjoy using this hand soap. Of course, their soaps make your hands smell nice. But I also like the foaming hand soaps because they're just, it doesn't take as long to um, lather off your hands. And so for that reason, I absolutely love all hand soaps. If I purchase any soap from Bath & Body Works, it's always the hand soap. The, I'm sorry, the, um, yeah, the foaming hand soap. So, this scent, White Waves, smells like men's cool water um, cologne. It definitely has a masculine scent to it. Not that scents are really feminine or masculine, but it's a heavier scent. Um, the notes in this are sea spray, white peony, and salted amber. Fresh sparkling snow, foaming hand soap. Again, it's empty. The notes on this are icy melon, holiday pear, and falling snow. And this is definitely another scent that has a crisp scent to it with the icy melon, the holiday pear, and falling snow. I enjoy using this. I can't say that I would repurchase it again. As I always say, I like softer fragrances myself, and this had kind of a crisp scent to it, and those crisp, icy, or sea-scented um, things I just don't really care for. They have sort of a deeper, again, masculine scent that I just don't really care for in hand soap. And last is the Coco Shea Honey 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion. Now this lotion I absolutely love. I would definitely repurchase. And it you do better to purchase this when they have the semi-annual sale. You get more for your money. But the scent of this is very nice. It almost reminds you of a sweeter cocoa butter scent. And it moisturizes really well. And even though it's honey in it, I've been out a few times with it on and it, you know, doesn't attract bees or anything like that. So it's washed or diluted with enough, enough chemicals so that you don't attract any unwanted um, animals. But overall, I really enjoyed this, this lotion. And it's very moisturizing. Sometimes I save this and use it up mostly in the uh, winter or the fall when the, um, my skin is a little bit more dry from the weather. But these are my empties. Hope you enjoyed uh, my reviews of these empties. And please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Until next time, be blessed.